at Slade, I've always had that, that thing, that indefinable thing that actually made people happy. They were a proper geezers band, but they sort of dressed like the Diddy Man, didn't they? I'm not a student, I've never been to college, you know, and I never went to art school. Um, not very good with words, but, you know, Slade speak to me just through the energy of the guitars and the music more than anything. And the funny thing is, it still sounds fresh. Not now a lot of people that would agree with me, they're sick to death of it. Doesn't it get re-released every year? I mean, that must have sold about 50 billion copies, isn't it? Fantastic. Is there a particular lyric in that song that you, you like? Yeah, the bit at the end where he says, uh, it's Christmas. It's brilliant. It's just shouting, isn't it? It's just, it's just pure... It's pure emotion. People just think when they listen to Slade, they think of, come on, feel the noise, and mama, we're all crazy now, and... But how does it feel? It's easily one of the best songs ever written, ever. It's such a brilliant song. So you go and buy it if you're watching this. It's on the great sticks, track 13. And in 1995, when Oasis' Noel Gallagher did a spot of radio DJing, a Slade fan made a novel suggestion for Noel's next record. So they sent me and Dylan into the back room, and uh, we were looking through like all the CDs. And, uh, so Noel's looking through this kind of CD collection that I'm looking through, and I spot Slade, Greatest Hits. So I kind of went, Noel, you've got to play some Slade. If it wasn't for him, then we wouldn't have done the Slade cover, really. Of course, Liam being Liam, if you watch the footage of Top of the Pops, the best bit about it is he's so blatantly miming out of time, it cracks me up, man. Come on, feel the noise, girls. Grab the boys, we'll go wild, wild, wild. And it just sounded like an Oasis song, you know? It's a bit uncanny for me when I'll write a song and people say, ah, oh, it sounds like Oasis. And it's just putting the, uh, the cart before the horse. I went to see Oasis when they did Main Road, and they came on and did it as the encore. We found out Noddy was up in, up in the balcony listening. I mean, I hope it was as good for him as it was for us, because it was brilliant. It was great seeing 40,000 kids singing along to it. A song that, that was 20 years old, more than 20 years old, and they were, the audience was singing along to it in the 90s. Yeah. 